welcome to our service of conflict this Tuesday, the 12th of December. Tonight, <clears throat> we are going to celebrate Finian of Clonard, who was an abbot in Ireland. So, a bit of information about Finian. Renowned as one of the greatest teachers and scholars Ireland has ever had, Finian was responsible for encouraging the growth of monasticism in Ireland. His great foundation was at Clonard, close to the centre of political power, but it was as a centre of biblical study that it was pre-eminent, and as a result, Finian has been called by the title Teacher of the Saints. One of the earliest of the Irish penitentials, a book suggesting ways in which Christians could seek forgiveness for their sins with programmes of self-discipline, is associated with him, but there may be confusion with Finian of Morvilla. Finian died on this day in about the year 549. So, <clears throat> information about Finian. Let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you see in bold are for you to join in with should you just wish to do so. If not, just enjoy and listen. Tonight's version is the Book of Common Prayer version. And uh, <clears throat> there is a stained glass window depicting Finian of Clonard. So let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day. The past week, bring our thoughts and concerns to God, knowing that we need his grace and forgiveness. We stay together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and in through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord Grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord, the Lord's name be praised. To we listen now to the Gazaldo 6, a version of Te Lucis and Eternum.
Uh, so on this evening, <clears throat> Psalm 19, verses 1 to 6. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another, one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands, and their words to the ends of the world. In them <clears throat> has he set a tabernacle for the sun, that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the end of the heavens and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> the scripture reading comes from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 13. Verse 35 to the end. Keep away, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep away. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, Lord God, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Do we listen to the Nunc Dimittis again by the Gazaldo Six?
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ, our Saviour. Lord, have mercy upon us, Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come out, come unto thee. Let us pray. <clears throat> In the confidence of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Let the church give thanks and praise for the good news of salvation and receive the power to proclaim it to the world. May all Christian people prepare in humility and love to celebrate the coming of Christ. Grant to the whole, whole world the knowledge of the divine mercy revealed in Jesus Christ, that all people may come through repentance to new life. Make straight the crooked ways of the world and give light to the dark places. We continue our prayers for the Ukraine and the Holy Land and all places of conflict and war. Give us grace to be messengers of the good news to those whose lives come near to our own. Send the healing power of the Holy Spirit to guide all in our community into the way of peace. Have mercy on all who are held in the power of unrepented sin and lead them back into the right way. Strengthen those who suffer indifference and hostility as they preach the word of God. We lift to you, Lord, all those who are ill and have asked for our prayers at this time. We give thanks for those who in this world receive the word of salvation showed its power in their life and are now at rest, including Roger Minchin, Edith Lunder, Margaret Perman, Philip Nelson and Hedley Barden. Keep us faithful in the way where they have gone before until we come to the kingdom. May our prayers be accepted through Christ, by whom we are baptised in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the collect for Finian, wisdom from on high, source of all knowledge, secular and sacred. We thank you for Finian, who in days of old was like the sun in the highest heaven, sending forth rays of goodness and holy teaching to the world. And we pray that in our day, men and women may be illumined by what they learn from Holy Scripture and come in penitence for renewal at your feet. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. 
Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come, with the dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. <coughs> That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless. <laughs>